Hello everyone, my name is Seal for SealTheProducer.com and The Producer's Blog and today we're making an awesome Drake style effect. Hey everyone, welcome back. So, as we said in the intro, we're gonna make one of those Drake style effects, those filtered underwater type of effects. And some of you might think that you just need to roll off the, uh, the top end and you're done. But the thing is, in order to be more authentic and have a little bit more vibe and character, you can do a few more things that actually result in a much more a cool sound and that's what we're going for today. So I have a, a really simple beat that I made really quickly here It's just kick snare hat 808 a pluck that it's doing that is doing the melody and some chords I'll play the 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 mix as it is and I'll explain a little bit about the about each track and then I'll go into the the overall processing to get the effect So you get what I'm talking about. It's one of those really slow and vibey type of beats. Now, um, the first thing that I like to do when trying to do those those type of effects is to actually pitch down the the whole mix a little bit because the thing is pitching plays around with the with the transient a little bit and it actually delays the 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 beginning of the transient. So it sort of stretches out the the um, the sounds a little bit and it creates a little bit more vibe and actually I'll just um, insert the the um, the pitch and you'll see what I'm talking about uh, it's just four semitones down but you'll you really see the uh, what I'm talking about especially with kicks and snares And actually, um, pitching down the sample, the, the the whole mix a little bit gives you the impression of a sound uh, being uh, less top endy, and it gives you the uh, the impression of a sound being less brilliant and having less top end, less high frequencies. And this is uh, sort of a first step in achieving that underwater sound. So the next uh, process would be to add some distortion now. I like to um, I like to use this distortion right here, it's the Fuzz Bucks, um, f f Fuzz Plus Three. Uh, I'm sorry, by Audio Damage, which is free, and you should definitely go and download it right now. Um, it's really cool. It has a really a great vibe on uh, low frequencies, especially, and it gives you a frequency control right here and you can adjust the the how much distortion you want on each frequency i mean if the distortion is affecting the whole uh, signal or you want a more filtered distortion etc so just listen to what this is doing the volume might be a little bit higher now but um, bear with me <laughs> So it's uh, crunchier, it's dirtier, and you might think that with all the top end and all this distortion it might not work, but the thing is the, the following steps will degrade the top end even more and will start to sound more filtered, so that will 
all this distortion, especially in the low end, will work really nicely when it's all filtered. So the next step would be to add even more distortion. Now, this distortion, for example, this is um, Logic's Overdrive. The brilliant thing about this is that you can choose the um, the type of tone that the distortion has, so a more brilliant tone or a more uh, a darker tone, and you can choose the frequency. Like in this case, it's at at uh, 150 hertz. Now, I'll play the effect and then I'll explain why I'm doing this instead of just rolling off the top end. The top end is considerably uh, low in volume. I mean, there's much less high end. But the thing is, it's not just filtering out the, the top end. It's doing something where it's more degrading the sound more than actually removing top end. So I'll play the example of uh, what it means to just filter uh, filter out the, the frequencies themselves. I'll show what filtering at 150 hertz sounds in comparison with the overdrive set to uh, 150 hertz. So I'm just going to switch off the overdrive. Now that doesn't work as much just because you, you're just completely removing all the top end and there's no uh, top end left the overdrive instead is more reducing in a way the top end but it's more degrading the top end so and crunch making it more crunchy so again the the overdrive example Now the bass is getting a little bit overwhelming. I like the top end, but the uh, top end and mid range, but the low end is getting a little bit overwhelming. So I'm gonna apply some EQ, and just to tame a little bit of that uh, low end, or low mid range and sub frequencies. So um, I've added a high pass filter set at 40 hertz, so we're not getting uh, all that extra 20, uh, 30 hertz from the the 808 that we don't really need. And we're just removing or reducing a little bit of the 140, 100 hertz uh, range. And eventually we can play around with a little bit of low pass filtering just to enhance the, the uh, underwater effect even more. Uh, now, I'm just going to remove the high pass filter and we'll just listen to the in and uh, with and without the reduction in the low, lower mid range. Now, of course, all of these settings are totally dependent on the actual mix once you have vocals and every other instrument in the mix. Um, but this is just the idea of what I'm trying to describe here, the, the type of effect that I'm trying to get here. But um, you'll probably need to remove e even more low end if you have uh, vocals and, as I said, every other instrument in the mix. As we said before, now the, the low pass filtering instead uh, again, will increase the effect even more, and we can actually automate it from section to section if we want to uh, sort of make the uh, the um, underwater effect move uh, throughout the song. Um, but we don't really need it at this point because I'm liking the the top end, so we know we don't really need to remove that much of the of the top end, but we'll just play around with it and so we can listen to what that is doing.
So we're trying to replicate a little bit of that character in this type of effect. And the crunchier the the bass is going to be, the more it's going to translate to smaller speakers. And this means that if you just remove all the, the top end, there's no... Um, higher harmonics coming through and that means that on smaller speakers um, the mix will just be inaudible and it'll just sound really bad you just you probably won't be able to hear anything so we just want to uh, reduce the the, um, the top end and uh, just make it more crunchy and remove a little bit of those frequencies here and there and just degrade the sound a little bit to the point where we reach that uh, top end removal. The last step, as I said, is the EQ, and we can play around with it um, however we like and make it fit with the uh, the atmosphere of the song. The last step that I like to do when I do these type of of beats is to add a little bit of compression to um, make the the song pump in time with the uh, with the tempo a little bit. So uh, a sort of a um, a side chain type of effect where it's pumping in and out in time with a with a tempo and this sounds something like this As I said, it acts uh, a little bit like a side chain because when the uh, kick hits, uh, it, it makes the compressor react and it's gonna duck the the whole mix a little bit and release in time with the uh, with the uh, with the tempo of the song, and that gives it even more of a vibe. Uh, all of these little uh, processes that we do will really give you the impression of a, a really cool and authentic. Um, or more authentic underwater Drake style filtered whatever type of effect. Okay, people, so that's all we got time for today. Um, I just wanted to make this quick video to get you going at the beginning of the week, trying something new and get you uh, getting you inspired. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. Visit pseudoproducer.com slash the producers blog for more audio production goodness. Um, while you're there, there's a sign up form on the right or at the bottom of if you're on mobile. Sign up to that and you'll download my free ebook, The Five Mixing Techniques You Should Be Using Right Now. It's free, it's awesome, it'll change your life and you'll love it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.